Hi everyone, my name is Amelia. Tell me, have you ever been betrayed by the people you trusted most? Yes, it always happens completely out of the blue and it hurts like hell. That's how it was for me. I couldn't even imagine what that betrayal would lead to. Subscribe to the channel and please listen to my story. I was a completely ordinary college student. Well, maybe not that ordinary. My best friend, Charlotte, always said I was too kind and trusting. That someone like me could easily be fooled by anyone. That's why Charlotte was always around to protect me. She even accompanied me to a lot of my dates with my boyfriend. I'd been dating Michael for a year back then. He was a few years older than me and worked for a big company. It was true Ooh. love. I adored him and I dreamed of marrying him. However, for some reason, Michael was in no hurry to propose. But one day, I found out that he was finally ready. That day, he was picking me up for our date. I asked him to wait while I was getting ready. Michael took off his jacket and sat down in front of the TV. I was looking at myself in the mirror when suddenly I saw a small box in his jacket pocket. What could it be? My heart leapt with joy. I carefully took out the box and I opened it. A beautiful wedding ring was laying inside. I just couldn't believe my luck. It was finally happening. But I decided I was not going to ruin the surprise and I put the ring back in his pocket. We went on our date. I kept waiting for him to choose the right moment and propose to me. But for some reason, as time kept going by, he still wasn't getting down on one knee. We went to a restaurant, to the movies, hung out in a club, but he still didn't look like he was going to propose. Finally, late at night, he brought me home, kissed me, and wished me sweet dreams. I felt so confused. Why hadn't Michael gone through with his plans? I spent the whole night thinking about it and I decided that he'd probably just forgotten about the ring in his pockets. So, I called him in the morning, and I suggested that we see each other that night once again. But Michael replied that there was no way he could meet me that day, which came as a surprise to me. Apparently, he had some important meeting planned. I didn't really know what was going on, but I wasn't mad. A couple days after that, I was in class. I was still thinking hard, and I wanted to discuss everything with Charlotte. We met in the hallway, and I was just about to start complaining about my crush when, suddenly, I noticed a familiar looking ring on my friend's finger. There was absolutely no doubt about it. It was the one that I'd found in Michael's jacket. But what was it doing on Charlotte's finger? I asked her about the ring, trying to be calm. Cool, isn't it? She asked me cheerfully. I was proposed to the other day, and I'm gonna get married soon. I had a terrible suspicion, but I made myself calm down. I congratulated her and quickly left. I was sitting at home and thinking about what had happened, when suddenly I got a call from Michael. He sounded worried and said that we needed to have a serious talk together. I was hoping that I had just been wrong and that this was the proposal, and now we'd be together forever just like I'd been dreaming. We met in a cafe. Michael looked worried and guilty. He didn't beat around the bush and he got straight to the point. Amelia, we need to break up. Huh? I hadn't been expecting that at all. But why? And then my boyfriend told me that he'd been dating Charlotte for quite a while. Michael hadn't wanted to tell me about it because he didn't want to upset me. But he'd chosen her and they were going to get married soon. Turns out that I'd been right and they had both betrayed me. Behind my back, my best friend and my boyfriend. I couldn't take it anymore and I burst into tears. Michael tried to comfort me but I pushed him away and ran. I felt horrible in that moment. I just sat at home and I didn't want to see anyone. And then Charlotte called me. Well, Amelia, do you know everything already? She asked mockingly. How dare she? Making fun of me on top of everything else? I told her angrily that this was horrible of her to steal my boyfriend. But Charlotte replied indifferently and said that everyone should fight for their own happiness and not wait patiently to get lucky. I was furious. And I told her that I never wanted to see her again and that our friendship was over. I hung up and I burst into tears. This was hell. I just couldn't believe that this was happening to me. I laid in bed all day long and I didn't do anything. I almost completely stopped going to college. From time to time, I would look at Michael's Instagram page just to see what he's up to. There were only ever photos of Charlotte and their preparations for the wedding there. He gave her gifts, helped her trying on dresses, and I could see just how happy they were. After looking at something like that, I would just start crying again because I still loved that stupid cheater. Weeks passed just like that. 
I did go to college sometimes, but that was only so I didn't get kicked out. Charlotte wasn't there. She'd already left for her honeymoon with Michael. I learned that their wedding really had taken place by stalking his Instagram. I felt awful. But at some point, I realized that those two just weren't worth my nerves. And I just needed to move on. I decided to pull myself together and I'd be happy again. The following day, I signed up for a gym class to get my mind off things. And it helped. I worked out so hard that I didn't have any strength left to be miserable. I also met a guy named Daniel at the gym. He worked there as a fitness instructor and he hit on me almost immediately. I thought, eh, why not? He was nice and pleasant to talk to. I needed a friend, so I didn't reject his advances. Bit by bit, things started to go back to normal. I was no longer worried and I hardly thought about what had happened to me. That's why when Charlotte showed up at the college after her honeymoon, I didn't pay her any mind. My ex-friend started showing off all the new clothes and jewelry Michael had gifted her to the other students. One day, she even came to college in a brand new convertible. Of course, it was also a gift from her husband, but I just ignored her and I didn't pay any attention to that new stuff. I had a life without her and I was pretty happy with it. And six months passed. I kept dating Daniel and I wasn't interested in what was going on with Charlotte and Michael at all. Suddenly though, Charlotte started to act weird. She tried to suck up to me and suggested that we become friends again. She looked guilty. I didn't understand what was going on. She didn't have a ring on her finger any longer. Then, on a whim, I opened Michael's Instagram, which I hadn't looked at in months. He was alone in all of his photos and wrote that he'd divorced Charlotte. So that's what this was about. Well, that was fast. Looking at the pictures of my ex, I realized that I still had feelings for him. So, as you already know, I was too kind and naive. So I forgave Charlotte, and I became friends with her again. I just couldn't leave her alone in such a difficult situation, and I supported her as best I could, despite everything she'd done to me. Charlotte, I hope you know now that you can't build your happiness on the ruins of someone else's, I told her. We started to spend a lot of time together again. I even introduced her to my new boyfriend, Daniel. However, one day when I came to the gym like usual, I saw Charlotte there. She smiled and said she decided to take up fitness as well. If sports had helped me beat my depression, then it would help her too. Huh, well that made sense. However, that very same day I saw her flirting with Daniel. How stupid could I be? I'd fallen for that traitor's lies once again. Charlotte hadn't changed at all. She was still just as greedy for what I had as ever. Well, you probably guessed what happened next, right? After a few days, I called Daniel to ask him out on a date but my boyfriend said he couldn't see me the following day. He had an important meeting planned. Everything became clear to me. Charlotte got her hands on my new boyfriend too. Daniel was just like Michael. I took it pretty calmly. After all, this wasn't the first time. That next evening, I was sitting at home watching TV shows in silence. Suddenly, there was a knock on my door. That's kind of weird. Who could this be? When I opened the door, I saw Daniel standing in the doorway. To be honest, I hadn't been expecting him at all. I thought he was on a date with Charlotte. He walked into the room and said that he wanted to do something special for me. And after that, he got down on one knee and took out a wedding ring from his pocket. Amelia, will you marry me? Daniel asked me in a trembling voice. It was all so sudden. I felt completely lost. What about the important meeting he'd been talking about? My boyfriend explained that the proposal was the important meeting he'd been preparing for. He just wanted it to be a surprise for me. Wait, but what about Charlotte? I saw her hitting on you, I said flabbergasted. Daniel said that he'd immediately turned my friend down because he only loved me and wanted to be with me. I felt so deeply moved. He was wonderful. And I was so glad that he hadn't cheated on me. I was about to say yes, when all of a sudden someone else knocked at my door. I wasn't expecting to see anyone else and who I saw just made my jaw drop. Michael? What was he doing there? My ex-crush walked into the room and, ignoring Daniel's surprised look, started to beg for my forgiveness. He said he'd made a terrible mistake when he'd broken up with me. He'd realized too late that Charlotte only wanted him for his money, but now he had divorced her and wanted to start over with me. Michael knelt and he took out a wedding ring. Dear Emily, please forgive me for what I did and marry me, he said with tears shining in his eyes. At that moment, I knew for sure that I still loved him. 
And that's how I ended up looking at two guys kneeling in front of me and proposing. Daniel is nice, but I don't have feelings for him. And Michael betrayed me, so I don't know if I can trust him. But I still love him. Who should I choose? Please tell me in the comments below. What do I do? I don't want to hurt either of them.